We have to have some guests, to, uh, some people today to say some words. I can't really see if they're here. Artyom Alexandrovich, are you here? Ah, okay, very good. We have the leader and the director of this uh, comfortable place where we are here, uh, the leader of the Russian Center for the Science and Culture, Artyom Alexandrovich. Dear ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, the Ambassadors of Albania, Brazil, and Pakistan, diplomatic representatives, dear friends, I am very glad to welcome you in Russian Culture Center. Today we are opening a new concert program of artists from different countries of the world. Our project is called Dialogue of, Cal <coughs> of Cultures. I am very pleased that today in this hall there are people who have a keen interest in multiculturalism, which means that the language of culture and art is an international language for our communication. I wish you a good evening, dear friends. Thank you for your attention and looking forward to meet you again. Thank you very much. And we would also like a few words from another host here, uh, from the China Cultural Center in Copenhagen, Mr. Chang Li. Good evening. On behalf of 
one of the co-organizers of this evening event, China Culture Center in Copenhagen. I would like to express a warm welcome to all of you to attend this multicultural musical dialogue event. China Culture Center is a governmental institution established under the bilateral cultural agreement between Denmark and China in 2014. We actually we started the renovation of building of, of our building, which is not far from here, just across the city council on uh, High School Street Boulevard. But unfortunately, the renovation project was delayed. But good news is that we will reopen very soon, a probably next January. So I also want to take this opportunity to express our welcome to visit our center when we reopen next year. So the building is a five-story building, nice building. It used to be the building of the Royal Conservatory of Music. And uh, it's a nice building. We have libraries, we have classrooms, and we have a tea house, and we offer different classes, especially cooking class of uh, Chinese food. So hope you will come here to visit us. So uh, this is the third year the China Culture Center has co-organized of this uh, multicultural event. We would very much like to uh, join such kind of event with the uh, Schiller Institute, the Russian House, uh, Denmark Russian Dialogue, to present such kind of culture event to help us to have a better dialogue instead of uh, color, right? Yeah. So anyway, uh, once again, I. Thank you very much for attending this evening. Hope you like today's programs. I always would say thanks to the a MCI Confucius Music School uh, an Institute here. We'll give the ladies, young ladies, will present some uh, wonderful Chinese programs this evening. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chang Li, and I'm Tom Gillesberg. I'm the chairman of the Schiller Institute here in Copenhagen. And as Mr. Chang Li said, this is actually the third year we have such a dialogue of cultures concert. And I think right now it's more important than ever. The whole idea when we began this process was to say that there's certain forces that are very active in promoting confrontation and war, especially trying to pit Denmark and other Western countries against Russia, against China right now. And as you all are very much aware, this is an ongoing process. And we said we have to do something against this. We need a dialogue of the cultures. We need a dialogue also between the nations. Because uh, if that process is allowed to persist, if we have genuine confrontation and war between the West, China, and Russia, we will have thermonuclear war, and mankind will probably cease to exist. So it should be an obvious thing that that is not the way to go. And that this whole idea of geopolitics, the whole idea of everything is centered around specific interests, and in order to have a game for yourself, you have to hurt somebody else, that the time has come to supersede that by a much different world order, where all nations are allowed to prosper, where all nations collaborate for the common good. And as a matter of fact, I want to mention that this year also marks the a very sad event, the passing of Mr. Lyndon LaRouche, the ins inspiration for the foundation of the Schiller Institute. He passed away February 12th at the age of 96. And for many, many years, besides being an economist, statesman, scientist, he was also the inspiration for the idea of Primakov later, 
that Russia and China and India should actually work very closely together. And if the three of them came together, they would supplement each other in extraordinary ways. And this laid out became the foundation of BRICS. Now, LaRouche also later emphasized that he thought this could be a good first step, but in order really to have a new world order, there was another leg missing in that, namely that the United States should join Russia, China, and India in such a process. And if that were to happen, then we would, would we really see a new world order where it would be possible to have a revolution in terms also of a new global financial system, a new order of events where all nations could really collaborate. And that I think that event might be possible. That one of the reasons why we see these hysterical attacks on Trump from the war hawks, whether they be in London or in Washington, is exactly for the fear that he might actually do that. Join the Belt and Road Initiative, join the idea of all nations actually getting access to infrastructure, to industrialization, and to prosperity. So, if that were to happen, and we are in the Schiller Institute very much committed to, to see that happen, that would mean the instantaneous change of the whole world where each nation would look to its own past and see what do we have of the best contributions we have made to, to mankind throughout history and make that the standard from which we will operate in the future. Now, in order not just to wait for this, we said, well, let's begin this process by having this dialogue of culture so that at least we gain access to these beautiful pearls each nation can contribute in the cultural field and begin the dialogue there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador, I also just wanted to say that the Albanian ambassador wanted to come here tonight, but because of the recent earthquake in Albania, which is uh, taking its toll on the population, there's now 49 killed in the earthquake, 2,000 wounded, uh, she said she didn't, couldn't come, but she wanted, uh, uh, but wanted to let it be known she would like to be here, and also asked for that say to say that she and her nation is grateful for all of the good wishes and help they have been achieving. Outside, there will be a sign if somebody wants to contribute to that. The place on the internet where they coordinate again, uh, and uh, in. I would just like us maybe to take just a few seconds of silence to think of those that passed away and uh, maybe that we commit ourselves to do what they cannot do. So, with that said, I'll give the word to Jelena Nielsen, who will introduce the first program. Thank you, Tom. Um, I will not talk uh, much today. Uh, I think we have a concert and we have to begin our concert. So um, I would just say that uh, it's so, I am so happy to, to, to notice that our concert begin at where uh, at be so um, geographically spreading because we have a lot of artists from the different countries now and uh, not only from the BRICS countries that was the first idea now it's western countries it's also together with us so we have the artists uh, from Poland uh, Finland Denmark Hungary it is beautiful it's very beautiful and very uh, excellent for me to, to know that you know now we begin our concert so we have our first artists today. This is the children's Balalaika Orchestra, Svetit Mises. The moon is shining. Please come in. Come. <laughs> I'll just say that it's the Russian children, but they are just living in Denmark and uh, have been born in Denmark, and they are learning Russian. And uh, 
it's already uh, many years they are playing balalaika. And I have uh, just a question to, to you, Anya. Will you come here? Your name is Anya? Yeah. yeah? Would you just uh, tell me what kind of songs you like? It's Danish, English, or Russian? I prefer listening to Russian music, actually. Russian music, yeah. actually. Oh, wonderful. Will we just introduce what you play today? Well, so we're going to perform four Russian pieces of music, both folk, the folk song, songs and some, well, more popular music from movies, I believe. What is the name of it? Oh, it's uh, Marsh and uh, one called The Little Black Field. I don't know how to... The Mark. Yeah, The Mark, I guess. And Rasko um, Sashestin, which is The Conversation with Luck. And uh, lastly, we'll play Katusha, which is a popular song. Very good. These last two songs will be with the help of Valery Lihachov. It was a Russian opera singer, as I told already. Please begin.
Ансамбль светит месяц. Русский дом. Песня композитора Блантера Катюша. Ма Кокуляр Хелеведен. Подпеваем вместе. Вдруг в тишине постучала в двери. Неужели ты ко мне верю или не верю? Подал снег, плыл рассвет. Осень морочила, сколько лет, ну сколько лет, где тебя носила? Вдруг, как в сказке, скрипну. Зря не напрасно было. Ты пришло и сбылось, И не жди ответа. Без тебя.
тебя, как жилось мне на свете этом. Тот, кто ждет, все снесет, как бы жизнь не мила, лишь бы все, это все не напрасно. Вдруг, как в сказке, скрипнула дверь, Все мне ясно стало теперь. Сколько лет я спорил с судьбой Ради этой встречи с тобой. Мерз я где-то, плыл за моря, Знаю, это было не зря. Все на свете было не зря, и не напрасно было. Вдруг, как в сказке, скрипнула дверь, Все мне ясно стало теперь. Сколько лет я спорил с судьбой ради этой встречи с тобой. Мерз я где-то плыл, говоря, знаю, это было не зря, не на свете было не зря, не напрасно было. Ансамбль светит ветер, общество русский дом. Thank you. 
question, part of the concept. And um, Valery Lihachov will uh, sing now the two, two songs. But before uh, he begins to do that, I would like to say maybe a few words about him. Maybe you can do it. Uh, Valery had a very big career uh, from the Soviet Union as a professional opera singer. And uh, she, he was uh, also singing in the Bolshoi Theatre. And uh, now he is a uh, long time uh, uh, singing also in Kremlin's concert cell in Moscow. So uh, he is also um, singing in, the, in Denmark in the, in the uh, uh, Royal Theatre. So after, after uh, here concert, he's going to sing in the Royal Theatre in the, in the in the, uh, in the evening today. So, um, Valeri is going to uh, sing now um, the song which is called Miller in English, Milnik in Russian, and it's about Pushkin uh, songs, and uh, another song uh, about, uh, it will be along the Petersburg, Petersburg that's the street uh, in St. Petersburg, so it's a Russian folk song. Yes. <laughs>
think we'll move to Poland. Uh, we have Dominique Michel, who is from Poland, but has been studying here in Copenhagen for quite a number of years, who will play uh, two bazookas by Patricia. Thankfully not leave us, but he will come back 
and we joined by Kea on the violin to play Elgar, Monty, and a Mongolese folk song.
very happy to be here and uh, thank you for Schiller Institute and thank you for China Cultural Center and next one we will we are very happy to perform a Chinese piece which is inner Mongolian style It's called swan swan goose swan goose is the bird uh, they fly to the south when winter comes because it's warmer in the south but they always remember the way to be back home so this piece is very nostalgic uh, it reminds us where we came from, where is our home, even though we are somewhere abroad. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
stage to acknowledge the fact that none of this would have happened if they had not organized all of these beautiful artists to come and play with us. Thank you. 